right, here we go. Sorry, I didn't have a second to get the grid up there for us right there as we got Brandon Parks off to the races here. Back there in that number two spot, Rafe, Anthony Monroe, Adam Herr, Andrew and Justin Smolden. There's Michael back there in the mix also. Brandon Parks, the man out front there for next level racers, Anthony Monroe. And that 82 Backwoods Vacation Capsule with Time Machine. In that number two spot, he's got his teammate right behind him. But right there, Adam Herr, and there is Andrew in the number five spot, Justin Smolden. In the six, and there's Michael back there in that number seven spot. So everybody looking good right now as everybody's chasing Anthony. Everybody really going after Parks, but he's on that another level. Next level, racers. Right now, Anthony Monroe trying to hang on to that number two spot. You see Brandon Parks right there. He's running away with it. For next level racers, he's out front by a country mile. So the build battle right here in the back. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. All tight all the way through here. As you see Andrew get loose with it. And dang, unfortunately, nowhere for the 203 to go. Right into the backside of the four. He's able to get it straightened back out there. So a uh, tough break for Andrew there as he got a little swirly. Oh, man, nowhere for Smolden to go there. Up break, you hate to see it, but the four will get back on track and he'll be just fine. Brandon Park still leading right now. Anthony Monroe going to take him down into the breaking zone here. and We'll see how these guys check up here in the heavy breaking zone. Kind of follow the leader at the moment. Adam gets him front wheels locked up pretty good. Smolden the same thing. Anthony Monroe in that number two spot, and he is up in the... Oh, I tell you, his night may be done right there, unfortunately. Anthony Monroe and losing it coming out. There's Rafe, Adam, Smolden, Michael, Anthony Monroe, and, and here comes Andrew squeezing it through. Andrew now up to the number six spot. And the battle on here between the 203 and Adam Herr. Michael also in the mix there as he's playing games in that 33 machine. Up the hill they go. 14 laps left to go here in wine country. The 203 checking up hard there. Adam got real loose there. Talked to Smolden pre-race tonight. He said it's going to be crazy. It's looking crazy right now for him, but your leader out front. Brandon Parks got a nine-second lead on your second-place driver. And then number 18, Top Cat. Top Hat, excuse me. Brakes. Check them out. The Capsule of Time. LLC.com. Broken Axle Driver there in the number two spot. Justin Smolden in the 203. Your title sponsor out here tonight. In the number three spot, Adam Hur in the four, Michael there in that number five spot. So everybody rolling for spots here tonight. Try to get that volume turned up a little bit for you guys so you can hear these cars when they come by. Brandon Park solely in the lead now. He's got it up to 11 seconds. You see the second place driver not even in the picture yet. And Rafe loses it there. It's going to allow Smolden and Adam Herr to make the pass. Let's take a look at what happened to the 18 here in just a second as we see the 84 go up and eat the wall there. The 84 now stuffed it. Andrew stuffed it also back there. So let's take a look at what happened with Rafe here. This should get interesting. A lot of power coming down here. He just takes it up there and just womp, 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 womp. Holy Jesus. Yep, he got it figured out there real quick. Awesome stuff right there. Brandon Park still the man out front right now. No problem for him. Justin Smolden now in that number two spot. Rafe in the three. Michael Anthony Monroe in the five. Adam Herr. In the number six spot right now after tagging them tires. So good thing it was just tires. It don't look like a lot of damage done to the front of the 84. So he's keeping it rolling. Andrew there in that number seven spot. Rafe in the three. So right now, everybody kind of following each other around the track right now. Brandon Parks out here tonight. He's finding his way around right now. He's doing a great job at it. The gap right now with a 16. I'll make it 17 seconds. What our gap's looking at right now. So a lot of stuff right there. 
going on there. Last lap for uh, for Parks, he ran a one four, or excuse me, one four one six zero. So he's putting the pressure on right now. Last lap after that was a one four seven one by Justin Smolden. So everybody trying to chase down Parks here tonight. Parks a B class driver, a two point one on his safety rating out there. So. Uh, right now, everybody kind of just hanging soon as he's three and a half laps into this race. And the gaps is expanding. Top speed for him, 135 tonight. And nobody else to touch the 130s here, so 135, your top speed. That's going to go to Brandon Parks right now. So great work from him and all the guys out there. Dustin Smolden there in that number two spot, Rafe into three. Couple guys going off the track there. Adam there working his way up there, and Andrew again. Nobody a lap down with 12 laps left to go here in wine country. It's a tough track, man, on the schedule for sure. That four sounds like it's about to blow up. Brandon Parks there. Sometimes you got to think outside the oval there. You know what I mean? What's up, Capsule? How we doing tonight? Right now, Smolden in that number two spot. Rafe in the three. Closing that gap. Michael there in the four, Anthony Monroe in the five, and he was your second place driver. Anthony Monroe was your second place driver for the first couple laps and just lost it prior to going on to lap number three as he's digging his way back up. Anthony Monroe, top speed for him tonight on the meet is sitting at a one, three, zero. So he's pulling in some speed, but your top speed right now, 136 for Brandon Park. So he's finding a lot of speed in places guys aren't looking. 11 laps left to go here in Sonoma. Molden, your title sponsor in the 203 Gaming. For Choice Inc. Esports. Looking fantastic. And Rafe back there. Repping them beautiful colors for Capsule with Time. LLC.com. He's a part of that Broken Axle Motorsports team over there. Great job that Anthony Monroe's got going on over there. Red Fire saying, let's go Capsule with Time Drivers. You got them out there. In the bunches here tonight. Anthony Monroe and Rafe out here representing those guys. Anthony Monroe now up to the number four spot. As he's in a tight battle right here. Nice little battle brewing here between Michael and Anthony. And Michael right there in them gold tires, blue car. Anthony in that 82 backwoods vacation capsule of time. Let's jump inside the cockpit here with Mike and see what he's seeing as he chases down the 82. Handful, handful. Look at that thing just ripping out behind him. Jump up here to that capsule with time, LLC.com gearbox cam. This is a breaking point right here to see what these guys are doing. Riding with Anthony Monroe, looking back at Michael and Adam Herr from the rear view. here Anthony going through the gears right now as you see Parks out to a 24 second lead oh Adam holds on to it back there big save from Adam Her. right here comes a real heavy braking zone right here get ready Michael right there also as he tries to hold off to him and contact made there. Michael getting a little sideways there with the 84. We'll rewind it back for you guys and wanted to take a look at that pass that was trying to be made right here. Adam comes in a little hot. Adam got tagged into those tires. But a great save there again from Adam. So awesome work as Hurst trying to find his way around right now. And Oh, Michael, hang on to it. Andrew upside down back there also. So we've got a couple guys here. Take a look here. Michael getting a little sideways right here. and Oh, man, he comes off there and right in front of Adam. And you would think with not that many cars out here that the track wouldn't be that bad, but it is that bad. Okay, let's take a look at what happened to Andrew here also. So something happened with the four. Oh, yeah, this corner right here is getting a lot of guys tonight. Look at this. Let's just... 
Let's take it that way. Yeah, let's just let's just take it that way. No penalties to be served. Everybody's running good here tonight. So far, but everybody's Jason Parks for next level racers. Nine laps left to go here tonight. At Sonoma. Justin Smolden, that number two spot right now. Michael in another big crash here. He's down there on the drag strip. What's going on here? Take a look at what's going on with Mike here. Comes down onto the drag strip here. Takes it down and just, oh my goodness, oh my God. A little bit of a tough one there for him, but Brandon Parks, no issues here tonight. Smooth sailing for the next level racer. Nine laps left to go for him. We got the Indy cars coming up next, guys, right after this over in Detroit. So if you like Indy cars and road racing, get your hands full tonight. Andrew there, a little tight there, also coming out. Michael there in the number six spot. And Adam Herr. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the thing does not want to turn very well for him down there. So take a look here. We got Brandon Parks, your leader, for next level racers out here tonight. He's the man out front. Justin Smolens uh, is about three miles back from him at 27 seconds there in the number two spot. Rafe there in the number three spot. So Rafe out here tonight trying to pick up some crucial spots there for the top hat breaks. And all them guys over there make it possible for him. Capsule of time, broken axle. Then you got Anthony Monroe, team owner for broken axle. The Backwood Vacation Machine. He's back here in that number four spot. So as he tries to dig his way up right now. Let's jump inside the cockpit with Rafe here and see how the 18 guy from Montana handles Sonoma driving. Got Anthony Monroe up and off the track here. Let's take a look at what happened with Anthony. That 82 backwards. Let's take a look here. Okay. Comes around right here. Oh, no. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yep, right there it was, that moment. But Brandon Parks, he ain't messing around tonight. Eight laps left to go for him. He's your leader. Smolden there in that number two spot. Smooth sailing. Like I said, talked to Smolden pre-race tonight. And he said, hey, it's going to be a rough one. But he's uh, sitting in that P2 right now. And Rafe is trying to close the gap on him. He's got a little bit quicker last lap. So give you a breakdown on last laps here. Your fastest last lap is going to go to Parks. Okay. A 143. But looking at the guys in the number two spot, 145 for Smolden. Rafe ran a 144, so he's closing the gap on him, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do it soon enough. And Michael back there found the 136 speed that Brandon Parks found in the corner there, so guys may be catching on here. Absolutely. Baldwin right now trying to find his way, and Andrew in the number four monster energy. Rolling up his sleeves and going to work here. So Brandon Parks going to have to go around just a few more times here. Make it seven this time by for Brandon. Adam Hur up and off the track, and he's able to get it rolling. And Andrew there also. And holding in the boys. And let's go a lap here with your leader. We haven't jumped in his cockpit. Let's see what Brandon Parks is like riding with. One lap around Sonoma with Brandon Parks. NextLevelRacers.com. Riding with Brandon Parks right now. Makes it look so effortless. Of 
Sparks out here tonight and getting it rolling. Closing up the gap. Got the memorial banner on top of the hood there, on top of the windshield, excuse me. One of his best friends had passed away last night in the sleep. Unfortunate news came to Brandon and he's showing his love on the windshield here tonight and is he rolling here? Leading it by 35 seconds. Right now, he's looking fantastic here for next level racers in the 28. Justin Smolden still in that number two spot. Rafe, and there's Anthony. Anthony just back here. Michael working this way up there, and Andrew said, I got to go to the pits and gotta see what's going on here. Michael doing all right. He's in the number six spot. Adam Hur in a five, and Anthony Monroe there. In the number four spot right now. So a lot of guys closing the gap. Let's jump in the cockpit with Anthony Monroe. Right, there you have it Smolden right now still sitting in that number two spot there we'll put up the last time that they just ticked off right there one four three for parks a one four seven for Smolden so everybody else kind of just following suit there Michael with a one four six he's going a lot quicker than your other guys up front there just three seconds off of what parks running but he's a second and a half and two seconds off a second and third time so right now Michael is cruising well doesn't look like he's cruising right there let's take a look at what happened Mike right here. Okay, coming around right now. Okay. He gets a little loose with it. Okay, no problem. 33 out here drifting tonight. Brandon Parks getting ready to come up to that action right there. So, for next level racers, five laps left to go. The Indy cars are coming up next. They're running 12 laps over at Detroit. So a little bit of a funner track, a little more technical uh, track than what we got on our hands here. So Malden right now, he's still in that number two spot. Rafe there and Anthony Monroe. Anthony, man, he looks like that, that right side of the truck looks like it's been Ross Chastain. Take a look at that truck here on the side. Look at this thing. That ain't Chastain. I don't know what it is, but right there, backwoods vacation rentals man set them up give them a call if you need any rentals for your vacation get with backwoods capsule with time there 614 setups on the side of that machine you see it all right there brandon parks there repping the choice sink esports colors and the next level racers justin smolden on the ride tv thorn sport 203 here's the capsule with time 614 graphics right there on the side of race machine and Adam Hur, next level racers there. Choice Inc. Esports, Elite Performance. Michael, right now, he's running that pro line there on the side of that thing. And Andrew, well, he's got the Monster Energy there. Back up to the front here. Four laps left to go at Sonoma. Brandon Parks has led them all here tonight. Holding into two. Rafe still into the three spot. Anthony Monroe. Trying to close that gap there on him. We'll put the back up on the screen here for you. And yeah, absolutely. You can take a look at right there. It's Chevy, Ford, Chevy, 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 Ford, Toyota. Toyota in that number seven spot there. I know you guys would be thrilled about that. Taking a look right there. Pull that up there. And yeah, as far as fuel goes, yeah, they should be able to make it. Uh, fuel window here is not that bad. Um... You know what I mean? So there should be there should be absolutely no reason why. Yeah, funny thing is they're all Chevy powered. Yep, just like you said. Yes, sir. So right now, all these guys out here rolling the best they can. Yeah, stint length right there. You see it. About 11 laps so far. Everybody's done win 11 laps. So four laps left to go. As you see the stints up on the screen there, Parks has not pitted yet. Mike went in on lap number six, so he's got a four-lap advantage there. And 
Same thing with Andrew right now. He's in the pits here. We look at the pit strategy. Coming up to play here for you guys. 16.4. And the pit time there, right there. So as they come down the pit time, it takes quite a bit of time to do it. So Michael right there, he's spinning around doing donuts, trying to get himself situated. And see Smolden, he's just trying to get his bearings back underneath him also. So he's just like, hey, currently sitting number two right now. Love it. Jump inside the cockpit with Smolden. Second place driver. Absolutely. Yep, you see it up there on the screen. We appreciate everybody out here tonight, man. Thank you guys so much. Uh, sector's up right there. You see Smolden through sector number one. Just a little bit off of pace is Smolden there and head. Sector number four there. Well, Rafe's got the advantage popping up on that side there, so anything's possible when it comes to uh, finding your spot on the track. I'm going to pull up that track map for you guys here. I know a couple guys wanted to see the track map. We'll see if we can get that rolling here just a little bit for you guys. Um, yeah, there is a track map. Dashboard right there. You see the speed that Smolden's getting. Close it way down. We've seen those speeds get all the way up, you know, to a lot higher level than that. So, looks like Michael crashed again down there as he tries to get himself situated. And Brandon Parks getting ready to come to the white flag next time by. Looking real good here tonight. Holden still in that number two spot. Rafe there in the three, trying to hold off Anthony Monroe for the number four spot. And man, Smolden up and off the track right there. Gonna give Rafe a chance. You see him back there. Holden's truck looks to be tore up. White flag out next time by for Brandon Parks. Absolutely. All these guys out here tonight did a fantastic job. Yep, there he comes right now. Brandon Parks in the 28 for Next Level Racers. Going to see the white flag next time by. Right after this, like I said, guys, we got the Indy cars at Detroit. Andrew's just chilling down there in the pits. He's like, put me in, coach. Brandon Parks getting ready to come up here. Working his way around the timing tower for the drag strip. Dude, running for him tonight so far. Yeah, you got to think outside the oval, that's for sure. White flag out this time by for Brandon Parks. Justin Smolden in that number two spot. Rafe back here in the three, the four of Anthony Monroe. Adam Hurd there in that number five spot right now. And the white flag being displayed to all these drivers out here tonight, man. Big shout out again to everybody out here. Coming out week number one of the trucks here. I know it's not everybody's fan favorite of a track. But it's what we got for week number one here at Sonoma. It's going to be a short series here this season with just uh, five races on the schedule for the trucks. As we prepare for the big season the starting right after the holidays. I believe it's the first or second week of January. The truck schedule is going to be extensive. And I'm talking 30 plus races. So... Get your popcorn ready. It's going to be a long season in the 203 Truck Series right after the holidays. But right now, Brandon Parks, the man out front. Dominating performance from start to finish here tonight. 
Let every lap you can lead here at Sonoma. Bolden there comfortably sitting in that number two spot. And it looks like Rafe will hang on to the P3 here for the Capsule of Time LLC.com. Broken Axle Motorsports team driver. And the car's going to rip it around one more time there. Top speed of the meet. It's going to still be stuck at a little 136. So. Fantastic work from all these guys. And Park's going to bring it to victory lane here. Checkered flag waving for him. You see him getting ready to go across the line. Checkered flag out. Look at him waving up there. Brandon Parks picking up the big win here tonight at Sonoma. Justin Smolden looking to bring his stuff around here in that number two spot. Is He's just a shy off a country mile back right now. So. He'll work his way back up there in position, but congratulations again to Brandon Parks out of Michigan, owner and operator of Next Level Races. You guys looking for a fast team to join? You want to be a part of it? Up and coming. Fantastic. Like I said, once again, a well-oiled machine team over there. Brandon Parks got you covered at Next Level Racers. He is your race winner here tonight. We'll take a look at your second place driver as he gets ready to start, uh, excuse me, uh, pass the start finish line right now. Justin Smolden in the 203, your title sponsor. Week number one, going to bring it home. And let's look at that checkered flag wave for Smolden. There he is, bringing it across the line. P2 tonight for your title sponsor. There you have that. Good stuff, Justin Smolden. P2 out of White Lake, Michigan. In the number three spot, we got Rafe here. He's going to be sliding it around for Broken Axle Motorsports. Capsule with time. All to everybody that makes it possible for the 18. We'll take a look at him as he goes across the start finish line in that P3 here tonight. Great work from all the drivers here. Great job. Rafe going to bring it home into P3. So Rafe picking up your P3 spot here tonight out of Montana. Stand up. The young man out of Montana in the P3. Justin Smolden out of Michigan in the number two spot. And his neighbor from Michigan also. Your owner and operator of Next Level Racers, Brandon Parks. Picking up the big win here tonight. Take a look at some of the results here as they get ready to pop up on the screen here in just a moment. Get these guys up here as they're trying to finish off their laps here. Michael's bringing it around. We've got a couple guys just finishing up the laps here, boys. So staying clear. Uh, Park Smolden Rafe to the start finish line. You guys know what to do. We'll see you up there. Michael going to go ahead and finish it out strong here. But there you go. Brandon Parks. Smoking it up right now. That thing's smoking good. Justin Smolden in that number two spot. And the three of Rafe there, they'll work their way around. And Anthony Monroe's going to finish in the number four spot. Adam Hur there. And he's going to work his way up there also. So there's your results for tonight's race. I'll get that popped up here in just a bit for you here as we get these guys up here for post-race interviews. Still waiting on Michael to come around right now. Looks like he's going to finish it up, but... Rafe, Smolden, and Parks getting it done right now. Absolutely great work. As you see, Brandon Parks getting ready to burn it down. We get interviews ready to go here. Michael going to go ahead down pit road here, he said. I'm bringing down pit road here tonight. Michael, no problems there for him. All right. Awesome work here from all the drivers across the board here. It will bring it around. All right, third place driver working his way up here right now. There's Rafe. And we'll get the interviews underway here. All right. All right, awesome stuff, boys. Great run out here. Week number one, ready to go. Post-race interviews. We're going to start with the number 18 out of Montana. Rafe, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, good run out there tonight, man. Like I said, being week number one here in wine country, uh, thinking outside the Oval here in Sonoma, what we got here tonight, P3 for you and the boys, man. Break down your race tonight. Yeah, coming into the race, I knew it was going to be just staying on the track and uh, had a big gap in front of me to Smolin and a big gap behind me to Anthony. So I just kind of keep it on the track and coasted to P3. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and great job of doing that here tonight, man. Everybody over there, top hat breaks and, and uh, capsule time making it possible for you there, man. And uh, dominating performance here in week number one. We look to see the great work continue here throughout the uh, season. And uh, who do you want to thank tonight, Rafe? 
Yeah, I'll say Capital Time LLC. Uh, go check them out for all your Christmas IDs you have. Uh, 614 Setups, 614 Graphics, uh, Voodoo Graphics, uh, Broken Axe Motorsports for all the practice we put in. And my mom for buying me Sonoma 15 minutes ago. Absolutely. There you have it. you got to think bomb there. Absolutely. Getting it done here tonight. P3 Rafe. Fantastic work. All right. We'll head over now to the 203 out of White Lake, Michigan. Justin Smolden, you got a copy. Smolden, we got a copy. All right. Don't think we got Smolden on the mic here tonight. Great race out there. Week number one, getting it done. White Lake, Michigan, 203, our title sponsor. Up five spots from where he uh, qualified. Great run out there tonight, Justin Smolden. All right. We'll head over now to our race winner out of Waterford, Michigan, in the 28, your owner and operator of Next Level Racers. Brandon Parks, you got a copy. Yes, sir. I got you. Hey, job well done out here tonight. Leading every lap that you need to lead here. Qualified first and never looked back. And it was a dominating performance once again from everybody over at Next Level Racers tonight. And uh, break down your race a little bit for us. Yeah, man. Just try to stay mistake-free and whatnot. And uh, just keep every lap clean and consistent. And uh, not – I turned my mirror off, turned everything off, took the headset off, pretty much just – Try to block everything out and uh, run a good race. Pretty much, that's uh, that's what I did. <laughs> so, I mean, it worked out. Um, now, like I said, we just lost a real close friend of ours the other day. So it's been a real rough day today. Uh, Justin Vance was one of our best friends growing up, like I said, and um, I was still 25 years relationship, friendship, and uh, he's a huge guy. So uh, I'm not sure if he had a heart attack in his sleep or something, but, um, man, it's just been a real rough day today. So uh, dedicate this race to him, like I said. Uh, he's up in heaven now, looking down on us, and uh, I'm sure he was here watching the race. Uh, I don't know if he was out helping me out, but overall it was a great race, and we kicked some ass tonight. Absolutely. Job well done again here. Congratulations on week number one, and, uh, uh, good to see you out here racing with a heavy heart. Uh, who do you want to uh, thank tonight, Parks? Yeah, I'd like to thank my team, Next Level Racers, uh, Freud Associates, Swarm Paintball Foundation, Choice Inc. Sports Team, Julio, Top Notch Guy, helped me uh, through a little um, in memory of Justin Vance on my car on the front windshield here. Kind of hard to see. It's also on the bumper, but um, he's an awesome dude. He uh, helps me out a lot. And uh, Nighthawk, in a uh, week in, week out, you do a great job. And uh, Justin Vance and his family and all, all my friends, if anybody's watching, um, like I said, uh, thank you for that. And uh, we're all thinking about Justin, and uh, it's, been, it's been a rough day. I know this is going to be rough to move on here, but, um, again, thank everybody for coming out. I want to just sit here and talk all night. So uh, move on to the next race, and uh, thanks again, everybody. All right, there you have it. Brandon Parks getting it done here tonight, picking up the big win in week number one here at Sonoma. Smolton in the number two, and Rafe rounds out your top three. Great work, boys.